ever do anything and think, surely I'm not the only person that does that. I mean, I can't be the only person in this room who's got a bum sponge. <laughs> so uh, what's a bum sponge, I hear you ask? Well, a bum sponge used to be your all over body sponge until one day you're having a particularly good scrub of your bum and you were just about to wipe your face and from that day forward that became a sponge for your bum and your bum only. So you see some of you might now want to have a bum sponge but that's all right because once you accept the fact you need a bum sponge you can get the right tool for the job. I find that one of these sponges with the bumpy scan on top gives a particularly satisfying scrub and you can keep that. It's not my actual bum sponge, it's a brand new one. So, uh, and while we're on the subject of hygiene, I don't know about the rest of the men in the room, but I'm sick to death of being made to feel like my penis is some kind of diseased piece of meat. Every time I go to the toilet, you lost your hands. Now, I bathe regularly. My willy is just as clean as any other part of my body, if not cleaner, because sometimes I wash it really fast. <laughs> I have invented something and it's an app for the iPhone because I think that life would be much easier if it had a soundtrack. You know, when you go to the movies, something scary is going to happen, they play scary music and we know where we are and if it's a love scene they play romantic music and we know what's going to happen. Well, I think that life would be good if it was like that. For instance, if you're in a situation where you want somebody to take you a bit more seriously, Perhaps like this. I think I already told you that I don't want the extended warranty. <laughs> <laughs> or, what about when you've got to tell one of your kids that one of their pets has died? I think it's sweetheart. I know you love Pixie very much. And you know she's been very ill. And the pet tried to make her better, but he couldn't. Or, what about when you want to tell that certain someone that you've known for a long time exactly how you feel about them. The thing is, Jane, we've known each other for a really long time now, and I love you. You've got to be careful, because if you press the wrong button, that could be a very different conversation. The <laughs> thing is, Jane, we've known each other. If you all had this app, it would help us out loads, because we would know what you were thinking all the time. You know, like when you've been at work and you get home and your wife says to you, what did you do today? Oh, you know, I had a meeting with Tim and Bob and Susie. Oh, yeah? Who's Susie? <laughs> I mean, there are a couple of kinks to work out, because at the moment you've got to take your own speakers everywhere. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, oh. how far away is that guitar? <laughs> the girl on the platform smiled. <laughs> I was on the train station recently and uh, the girl opposite me looked over and I thought, you know what? My wife hates me with a ukulele. <laughs> Why not? So I went. The girl on the platform smiled got something between the teeth. <laughs> she was a natural blonde. She dyed it to hide the grey. She was 26. All right, 58. So uh, that didn't go very well, but it turns out that, it turns out the six foot ex wrestler next to her was a massive George Formby fan. <laughs> so we went on our second date last night. <laughs> but I am married with two kids like I always dreamed. <laughs> and isn't it amazing when you've got somebody in your life who inspires you so much, you want to write a song about them. Well, I've been married for 10 years, and they said it wouldn't last. I've been married for 10 years, boy that's gone so fast. Well we met with Kiss and Cuddle, and I've called her my little mouse. But now she's just that annoying cow who lives around my house. <laughs> <laughs> but we are very similar in lots of ways, my wife and I. For instance, we're both scared of spiders. But we just deal with it in very different ways. 
I see a spider, I take off my shoe and whack it. She sees a spider, she's got more of a three-pronged attack. First, she sprays it with hairspray. <laughs> in the hope that it will act as some kind of cosmic free spray and the spider will be running along and suddenly stop with one arm in the air. Like that. So when that doesn't work, she sprays it with deodorant in the hope that she can suffocate it. When that doesn't work, she sucks it up with the hoover. The only problem with that is, 20 minutes later, the spider comes crawling back out with eight other lady spiders, one under each arm, because his hair looks fantastic and he's never smelled so good. That, that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Lynx effect. But being in a relationship's hard, isn't it, when you've been with someone for a long time? I start to see little signs that the love is fading from your relationship. Just little things like we were in bed the other night and my wife leaned over and shook me and said, Will you stop breathing? <laughs> yeah, just little things like that. And there's the arguments, isn't there? The arguments come out of nowhere, don't they? I say arguments, that would imply a two-way thing. If you've been with someone for a while, you just get ranted at, don't you? So she's ranting at me and then she does the thing I hate most in the whole world. She goes into another room, carries on ranting at me. So she's in the bathroom and I'm in the bedroom and I think, right, I've had just about enough of this. So I dive over the bed like a commando and I burst through the bathroom door like a ninja. I'm just about to give it her both barrels and there she is washing her face with my bomb sponge. <laughs> So, I am a dad now, <laughs> and uh, I've got a two-year-old and a, a two-week-old. So you're all thinking, oh, but that lady just looked at me as if to say, you irresponsible bastard. <laughs> but when you have kids, people are full of advice, aren't they? And little nuggets of wisdom. They say things like, not babies for very long, enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> enjoy it. <laughs> 